Okay, hello guys. It's chapter two now. So mostly job is done what comes to the ripping parts of the chassis. But uh, this is take two and uh, we still got the front axles, rear axle, rear pump and of course a brake saddle. So I'm trying to rip these last parts off from it so we could continue to wash the chassis and uh, prepare it for the powder coating so let's get to it it's chapter two now and uh, wish me luck wish me luck <laughs> okay firstly let's get this brake saddle off Oh boy, that was the big, big screw which, which was downstairs here, but uh, here's the other screw, but now it's coming loose and uh, we can take the saddle, saddle away from the chassis. Everything is so tight when they have been fitted there. All, all the time but card has been used so everything is so tight 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 and fit okay let's try to okay those seam blades are now getting off there and well it was a tight fitment about the brake saddle so i need to take the brake disc away before I can take the brake saddle totally away. So let's let's try to get that brake disc a bit further center so we can we just need to bit 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 use the hammer and uh, stuff to get the brake disc further in the center so it can it so we can get that brake saddle totally away so this is it is what it is this is normal stuff Okay guys, a uh, little bit progress, I just took that brake saddle off and uh, I'll take took the wheel hubs are off and uh, on the left side this wheel axle bolts and screws are off and uh, now the last, last screws of this right side and then we are ready to get the, get the rear axle off from the chassis so it's looking really really good should I say looking really really good finally finally after 30 minutes of uh, fighting I can say you that this is coming off well there it is Rear axle is off. Rear axle is off. Finally. Okay. Uh, final pieces. What we have to rip off from this chassis is these front axles. So let's let's get these off from this chassis. So king bolt is there. Kingpin. How do you say kingpin? Probably the kingpin is the correct word kingpin okay and then latest are these pushings is is this pushing or what but yes these also away from this like that now we got it Okay, here you go. 
last pieces are off. Like that. Okay, we are jumping over the washing, sanding and polishing, so every part has now been washed and sanded and cleaned and polished for the reassembling to the chassis and yesterday I just got this uh, main chassis and uh, floor plate also from the powder coating so chassis is now ready for reassembling and uh, also we have here the motor motor has been this head also was painted powder coated and uh, this this part and the cylinder has been uh, paint removal treatment but uh, this was a tough one this cylinder it left that much red paint so i need to use some soda blower to clean it up not not so much but uh, enough that i need some soda blowing and also here some tiny parts where i need some soda to clean it up all, all the way to the gray or silver color so it's looking good looking good and uh, we are just now starting the reassembling the all parts into the chassis so let's continue from this point okay let's start this assembling so first thing we are doing this steering column fitting the steering column into each place so let's look how we how will we manage with this one how will we manage let's put this bolt also there okay now we cut it now we cut it and uh, let's put this steering column up thing here let's do hope that we we will fit have the chance to fit this in here we have the chance okay now we are fitting that also that part into there Okay. Well, there it is, and uh, we just tighten up these bolts, bolts, and everything, and it will be perfect. So let's just fit that one there. Okay, and then we change to the ten millimeter, ten millimeter, and uh, let's tighten up this upper screw here let's tighten up this one here like that like that okay it's uh, it's time for front axle assembling so we need some sanding here because there's new powder coated surface so these these things won't fit into that hole so we are just sa sanding a little bit well now it's time to time to put these pieces into here so need those little screws assembling the front axles properly okay there it is and there, then next one let's put some zero camper because it's it's only a restoration this car and then probably they will not never drive with this car again so it's only restoration purpose. Restoration purpose. Only restoration. There you go. Like that. Okay. Let's see. Does does this thing fit here? Yes, it's fitting really beautifully. Really, really beautifully. Yes, there's not, we are not using any kingpin there. 
Well, next is when the front axles on these arms are fitted and steering wheel and steering column is the main, main floor to assemble a main floor and petrol tank between those poles there and uh, let's put this petrol tank over there and floor comes here and need the screw rubber washer this is the rubber washer is it the perfect one yes it's the perfect Okay, then the washer, washer, good looking washer there, and the nut. Uh, let's try to do, do this. Okay, there it is. Looking, looking promising. Well, the screws of the bottom plate is now fitted and now we only have to Tighten these screws up, so let's tighten this up and uh, let's put front bumper next one and these are next one. So there is now steering wheel and bottom floor and the front axles are assembled. So next one is this front bumper. We would get get to it now immediately and uh, so we can finalize this uh, front end afterwards so everything is fitted ex except the throttle wire but uh, it comes when the motor is ready it comes later on so let's put this front pumper now and also the number plate is missing still but it will come, it will come later, 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 later. So there, in Svenska we speak. So here it is, front end is now ready. So front bumper, front axles, steering column and tires are fitted now. And uh, of course the main, main floor and the petrol tank. So. It's looking really, really good, as I wanted, as I wanted. Of course, there comes some Kalikart stickers over there and uh, to the front chassis. So just waiting those stickers to come, but uh, it's looking really, really good. How do you reckon?